essentially, Juan found a loophole. He found a loophole in, in the officiating and worked it to his advantage. So sure, I'm, I'm mad I didn't win the race. I'm not necessarily mad at him. But I think we need to look at how we officiate and, and how we can regulate that and keep that from happening. Because Dover, it's a very small distance from the zone to the finish line. But at other tracks, it's a huge distance. Here, it's pretty big. I mean, I'd have to imagine it's a couple hundred yards as well. And you could pin four or five people into that position if they take the bait, which I took the bait, clearly. Let's say I had a bad start and he beat me by a bumper or half a car length, Nazca wouldn't say anything. But it was Jimmy, the field. <laughs> so I'm okay with it, you know what I mean? Uh, he didn't, if you pay attention, we're coming to the cones, he didn't even want to line up next to me. He was actually dropping back to, he wanted to time it. And he just mistimed it. It's, it's all good, you know, it's racing. Being on the outside gives the, the leader that, that opportunity to have a, be in a blind, put the second place guy in a blind spot. So um, it worked perfectly. I mean, it really was well executed and, and, and taken care of. But in the end, it's, what is clear to me is regardless of the reason, and if you cause a pile up, and if it takes you know, a lap. I, I tried the entire front stretch to give it back. I mean, tried to. I mean, I'm half throttle past the start finish line trying to give it back, but he didn't didn't take it. So what is crystal clear to me is you just stand on the brakes and stop and give it back at all costs. Otherwise, I mean, even if I fell to fifth, it would have been a heck of a lot better than 17th. Jimmy said he's going to go talk to NASCAR because he would like it to be crystal clear. He's not clear on the rule, uh, and he thinks that that you found a loophole in the Did rule. Did I? Asking you. Wow, I'm that good. <laughs> oh, man, that's a compliment. Um, but the loophole is that you got to start between the cones and the leader. It's got to, you can, I think the start says, if you got to restart between the two cones that I did, and you're not supposed to beat the leader to the line. What's so hard about that? You know what I mean? It's. I, I read a quote about of him this week. I was you know seeing my house and I read a quote, and he said that you know if he wouldn't done that, the 42 would have beat him. I'm like, well, I'm the leader, not you. I was thinking it's like I know you. I mean, I know you dominated the race, but we came to a pit stop and we did a better job than you guys. And as we did a better job than you guys, we're the leader, not you. And crazy enough. If he would have backed off, let me go, he would have probably passed me again. It would have been all good. You know what I mean? He, he, he wanted to time it really well where he didn't have to deal with me through turn two and three, you know, one and two. But he mistimed it, and it, that's it. You know, no drama. If you get to the final restart Sunday, Jimmy's first, you're second, what do you, what do you think is going to happen? What do you I'm going to beat him by 10 car lengths. <laughs> <laughs> now... <laughs> <laughs> you guys are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.